Hi, this is Dilip Jiwani from Emipro Technologies. Now I will explain you how to install Magento. This video is very useful to beginner, to beginner who starts uh, development uh, in the Magento. For that, there are four easy steps. Uh, first of all, you need to download uh, the latest version of Magento. For that, download the latest version from uh, from the link www.magentocommerce.com/download. Let me go into the website. This website is very useful to Magento beginner who starts development on Magento and here in the download community edition so from here you can find the latest version of Magento but for now I have already downloaded the latest version in my computer so I will use that now I am going to This is the latest version. Now, latest version is 1.7.0.2. I am just copying this file. And the sec uh, and the second point is extract Magento folder in appropriate www folder in your server. For now, I have installed Apache server in my computer. So I am just copying this file and I'm going to D exam docs paste I'm just extracting that fold that file here and the third step is create new database for Magento on MySQL server so for that I am going to create new database I will create new database here database Magento test create database has been created now still the folder is extracting here yes here the magento folder is extracted here I'm just changing its folder name magento test and now from server the next step is open appropriate link in browser of your Magento folder so for that I am going to open that folder in browser localhost Magento test here the magento test and magento is the subfolder so for that I have to go into the magento test magento yes from now I am going to click here this is the first page for the installation welcome to magento installation wizard I am doing agree the about terms and conditions continue from here you can set the local <coughs> there are all there are here is the list of all countries in the world but now I am just keeping it as default and you can also set the time set of the server here and you can set the currency from here 
I'm not uh, I'm not doing any changes here continue yes here we need to set the database details for that my host is the local host and the database name is magento test the username of database server is root i have not set the password so i do not need to set pa uh, password here <coughs> and the web access options here the base url localhost magento test magento here is the admin path is the admin default you can set here uh, there are more options here the unable charts default yes skip base url validation before the next step i am not doing changes here for now but if requires then you need to do as per your requirement here session storage options here the save sessions save session data in file system and database but uh, file system is good for us so i am just i'm not doing changes at all in this folder and i i have just set the database information here and now clicking on the continue let me see in the database that is there uh, this installation process is doing any uh, i mean creating any table or not here i have set the magento test database you can see that here there are many more tables are creating it will take little bit time to complete that installation process sometimes while installing magento it will create some errors but we have to do uh, we have to solve that as per which type of error creates in linux sometimes it requires perl to be installed then we have to install perl before uh, inst uh, before installing the magento can see that here the process has been done let me see that how many tables are created after this installation in database there are lots of tables has been created 250 in page 1 and in table 2 in 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 page 2 it is five tables so after all there are 335 tables has been created after magento installation in the next step it will it requires the detail of administrator of magento account so first name i am just uh, setting it's my name login information username admin this is the admin details you have to remember that what you are setting here what you are inputting here this is the en encryption key it says that if you not set this key then magento will auto magento will automatically create this encryption key it's better that magento will uh, create auto uh, magento will create automatic encryption key here so do not need to input anything here continue
can see that here you are all set it means magento has been installed on this computer i'm just going to the front end this is the front end you can see that here the i can access the magento store on my computer and let me go into the back end this is the back end i have set the admin and password sometimes because of cache issue i cannot access the admin panel from the chrome browser so let me try to in another browser mozilla firefox admin I'm just going to log in in the Magento admin panel. You can see that here this is the admin panel. There are much more there are lots of menu to manage this backend. So you can see that here the Magento installation has been done successful. So thank you for that.